15 different winners through the first 23 races. That's a NASCAR Cup Series record. Means there's only one playoff spot left up for grabs. And my eyes are on Ryan Blaney and Martin Truex Jr. this weekend at Richmond. How's it going, y'all? My name is Eric. Welcome to Out of the Groove. I feel like an old school promoter. It's Blaney versus Truex. One spot left. We're talking all things Richmond. Really, we're looking at the next three races, the final three regular season races. Truex is on the outside. Blaney currently holds that last spot by the thinnest of margins. Kevin Harvick's win at Michigan completely upended the playoff cut line. Harvick was 17th on the grid before that win. He is now 15th with five playoff points. He's effectively locked in. That means Ryan Blaney, who currently is second in the regular season standings, is holding on desperately to that final playoff spot. And Martin Truex Jr., who's fourth in the regular season standings, currently is without a spot in the final 16. With three races to go, a short track Richmond, a road course Watkins Glen, a super speedway Daytona, it's still anyone's playoff spot. You know, Blaney holds on to it via points right now, but anyone from Eric Jones to Bubba Wallace to Michael McDowell could nab a win these next three wins and blow the system up once again. In this video, we're primarily going to focus on Ryan Blaney versus Martin Truex Jr. Blaney holds only a 19 point lead over Truex. We're going to focus on those two because either of these two heavyweights missing the playoffs would be a huge disappointment. If you drive for Joe Gibbs Racing or Team Penske, it's practically assumed you'll make the playoffs, but not the way this year has gone with 15 different winners. I'm not gonna dwell on the playoff format itself. That's a conversation for a completely different video. Everyone has a different opinion on the win and you're in regular season system. It certainly lends itself to some awkward moments like this, where two guys in the top five in regular season points might miss the playoffs. One of them at this point is outside the playoffs. That That's certainly a, an awkward position to, to be in. But we're not gonna dwell on that in this video. We're talking Ryan Blaney versus Martin Truex Jr. Fight night this Sunday afternoon. <laughs> when making predictions, logically it makes sense to look back at the most recent evidence, or in this case, the most recent results at Richmond Raceway. Fortunately, we already raced there this year back at the beginning of April, the seventh race of the season. Both Ryan Blaney and Martin Truex Jr. put forth some of their best efforts in that race. Ryan Blaney started on pole, won the first stage, led every lap as a matter of fact. He ended up leading 128 laps in total, the most of anyone in that race. He went on to finish seventh. Remember the final stage, and actually the second stage as well at Richmond, came down to fuel and tire strategy. Different sets of drivers on different strategies, some trying to make it on a couple stops, some trying to make it on one less stop, tire wear coming into play. Blaney ended up finishing seventh, but did win a stage. He finished fifth in stage two. Martin Truex Jr., meanwhile, started sixth, drove up to fourth by the end of stage one. He won stage two by employing a different pit strategy than many of the leaders. He pit twice during that stage, most others only pit once. Then in the final stage, it looked like it was going to come down to Truex versus William Byron on similar tire strategies. Truex slowly reeling Byron in until suddenly Denny Hamlin and Kevin Harvick, who pit an extra time, used those fresh tires. They rocketed through the field, ended up both passing Byron and Truex. Truex ended up finishing fourth. But he did lead 80 laps. So to compare, Blaney led 128, Truex led 80, but Truex finished fourth. Blaney finished seventh. Both won stages, though. Martin Truex Jr.'s teammate at Joe Gibbs Racing, Denny Hamlin, went on to win that race. So when we compare their results at Richmond in the spring, both were extremely impressive. Now, again, when trying to predict the future, you have to look at the past. We looked at the most recent Richmond race. Now let's look at Ryan Blaney and Martin Truex Jr.'s career statistics at Richmond Raceway. And this is where you'll see some serious disparity. Martin Truex Jr. has finished in the top five seven straight races. Throw three wins in the mix as well. Seven straight top fives at Richmond. <laughs> Blaney, however, has typically struggled at the three-quarter mile short track oval. He only has two career top tens ever at Richmond, and those 128 laps he led here in the spring were his first laps led at Richmond ever. So give the edge to Martin Truex Jr. there for sure. Toyota typically really good at Richmond Raceway, especially in recent years. 
So we looked at the most recent Richmond race. We've looked at just their histories at Richmond in general. Now let's talk about how both drivers have fared this season. Again, they're very close together in points. Neither have won a points paying race this year. Blaney did win the all-star race, collected a million bucks, but they're only separated by 19 points in the regular season standings. Let's look at their stats for the season. Now some of the key stats, at least side by side. As you can see, Ryan Blaney holds the edge over Martin Truex Jr. in terms of total number of top fives, eight to three, blowout there. He also has one more top 10 than Martin Truex Jr., but average finish, identical. Both sitting at an okay, fairly consistent 13.3, and laps led uh, give the slight ed edge to Truex, but they're still pretty similar there. Both have led over 400 laps this season. Pretty interesting to see those kinds of numbers side by side. Neither driver has been on like a, a notable hot streak lately, although Martin Truex Jr. has made up some points on Ryan Blaney by finishing in the top 10 in three of the past four races going into this weekend. So maybe give the slight momentum edge to Truex. So as a result, very evenly split. That's what makes this kind of 1v1 battle within the larger battle that is a NASCAR Cup Series race so freaking interesting. Statistically, they have been very similar all season long. At Richmond in the spring, they were both two of the best cars in the field. The reason I'm putting so much focus on Richmond this weekend is because you know, Watkins Glen the week after, Typically, Martin Truex Jr. has been great there. He's finished third, second, second, first, and seventh in his last five starts. But this has been a weird year for Martin Truex Jr. He's typically great at Sonoma as well and finished 26th there earlier this summer. Not sure what happened. Same thing happened at Martinsville. It's called Martinsville. He's great at that short track. He also ran outside the top 20 there. Yet I was shocked to see this statistic. Martin Truex Jr.'s worst finish on a super speedway this year. Remember, he's never won a Cup Series race at a super speedway. Four races this year on super speedways. His worst finish is 13th. That's pretty darn good. Shifting gears to Ryan Blaney, he's a solid road course racer. Don't get me wrong. Remember, he won the, the Roval back in 2018, the inaugural event. You know, he got some help from actually Truex <laughs> getting wrecked by Jimmy Johnson on the final corner, but he did get that win. Blaney's name was on the trophy. This year on road courses, Blaney has finished 6th, 6th, 11th, and I think like 21st. So yeah, some good runs, but nothing, nothing to really write home about. Actually, I'm sorry. He was 26th, I believe, at the Indianapolis road course. But remember, he was up front late until he got spun on that, I think, the final restart. He likely would have finished like 3rd, 4th, or 5th if not for that crazy contact. Turn 1. <laughs> got bit by turn 1 like many others. So Blaney's been decent on road courses this year. Truex has not, but historically Truex has been way better on road courses than Blaney. So it's hard to look at Watkins Glen and see any direct correlation. Same thing for Daytona. Daytona is a pack race. Uh, there are certainly some drivers and manufacturers and teams that are typically better than others, but at the end of the day, anyone can win at Daytona. Ryan Blaney, of course, has three career super speedway wins. Truex has zero. But like I said, this year, Truex has found a way to make it to the finish in all four plate races so far. So if that trend continues, maybe Truex can buck the old trend of not winning. Who knows? That's why I'm focusing on Richmond. Richmond is a track that you can very much control your own destiny. I don't expect a lot of cautions. We typically don't see many yellow flags, many wrecks at Richmond. That's why like in the spring, we saw both stage two and stage three grow, go almost caution free with a lot of pit strategy woven into play. That's why I'm focusing so heavily on Richmond. You want my prediction? I give Martin Truex Jr. the better chance of going out and maybe winning this weekend, having a top five run, making up more points on Ryan Blaney. I give the edge to Martin Truex Jr. The only thing I don't like about Truex recently, I didn't love that radio communication we heard this past weekend at Michigan when he and James Small were kind of chirping back and forth. Truex questioning the pitch strategy, James Small criticizing Truex's restarts. I didn't love that. Now, obviously I don't listen to Truex and James Small every single week. Week. Maybe that's a typical for them, even when they've been at their best, but I don't love hearing that down the stretch when you know the pressure of making the playoffs is starting to set in. But I believe Toyota has been a lot faster lately. We've seen it even with 2311. Bubba Wallace has four straight top tens. Richmond Raceway is typically Toyota's best track or one of their best tracks. It's one of Martin Truex Jr.'s best tracks statistically. He showed that once again this past spring. I think Martin Truex Jr. has a great chance to win this weekend and knock Ryan Blaney second in points out of the playoff picture. That's my prediction. Again, I'm not even talking about the Eric Joneses and Austin Dillons and Bubba Wallaces that could blow this thing up further. I'm just focusing on the two guys on either side of that line right now, Blaney and Martin Truex Jr., MTJ.
Share your thoughts down in the comment section below. I rarely dive deep into like just two drivers, like a head-to-head -head matchup, but that's really how this weekend feels. I'm watching for the bigger picture, of course, to see what other trends we can pick out going into the playoffs, but I'm gonna be watching Truex versus Blaney much closer than I'd watch just about any other battle. So uh, share your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you think Truex is in prime position to make up points this weekend? Do you think Blaney has the edge? Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We talk NASCAR every single day. You're not going to want to miss a thing. Appreciate your support over there. And I always appreciate all of you on Patreon. Thank you so much for going above and beyond to support the show each and every month. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you all again Sunday evening after the Richmond race. We'll see what happens. We'll see if my prediction comes true. Maybe your prediction ends up coming true. Can't wait. It's going to be a good time. I'll see you after the race.